Members of the company, this is your places call. Places, please. Places for the top of the podcast. Places, please. Get ready for a behind-the-scenes look at the glitz and not-so-glam of Broadway, education, and everyday life with Uncommon Sense. Join hosts Christopher Smith and Sharna Lopez as they bring you the best stories and shenanigans that seemingly prove how elusive common sense can really be. So take a little time for yourself to hang out with the dynamic duo Sharnifer. And no leaving early, because you might just miss that 11 o'clock number. Stand by music. Music, go. Uncommon sense, the eleven o'clock number. And we are. Hi, everybody. We're back for another episode of Uncommon Sense. Hi, the friends. 11 o'clock number. So, um, yeah, if you didn't catch our, our last episode, go back and listen to it. We talked a lot about crazy names and the common sense that doesn't exist when you name Correct. children strange things. But, I mean, and we were laughing, man. I like that you sprung that on me. That was yes. like a surprise for me. He just pulled out some names and uh, yeah. yeah. Why? Why? The why? uncommon sense in um, naming children weird things. Yeah, go Felony. check it out. It was funny. Um, But today, what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about, I have a tagline. And well, I'm many taglines, but um, <laughs> one I used to have on my emails for the little signature thing was a lack of planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on mine. Can you repeat that one more time, please? Because the first time I read it on your email, I was very excited and intrigued. So repeat it one more time. A lack of planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on mine. AKA that is correct. That is correct. Get your ish together because um, although if you don't have your ish together, fine, I'll deal with it. But don't try to blame it on me and make me do extra things because you don't have your life together. Incorrect. And I think that's the gist of it, right? Yes, so, that's the worst like you part. Said, and you and I, I, I feel are very similar in that area where especially dealing with students and young kids who are still learning yeah. how to do this, we're very helpful. I think both of us are very mm-hmm. helpful and, and we I'm will bend over backwards. Yes. I'm not. <laughs> I, I mean, I think that's for both of us. And yeah. I, and I don't know how many times my students have heard that. Like I'm cool yeah. with you till I'm not, and I'm patient with you till I'm not. Mm-hmm. But I think the last part of what you said is a huge takeaway. It's not about us, not or you or whomever not yeah. wanting to help. I don't want to be blamed for your choices to not be prepared. Right. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get, don't get mad at me. Cause you can get your stuff done. Ugh, yeah. Rude. And you need to tell like the origin of where it came from. But I also have like, just now thinking about it, I have some really good ones of you and I that I oh, want to share too, but you need to say, you need to tell well, us where that came from. Honestly, I don't remember where it came from, but I do know that I it was just one day I was I think it was I was out of college and I had three incidents where people were like making my life harder because and then blaming me because they didn't do their stuff and I was like incorrect. So yeah. on that went and I don't know who said it. I think it was I just wrote anonymous because I don't know who said it originally and maybe I made it up. But <laughs> You should just take credit for it. I'll just take credit for it. It's my saying, everybody. <laughs> um, but it was just so infuriating. But I do have a story of when I actually took it off of my email because it's no longer on my emails. I know. And I don't know that story. Yeah. Well, I, I had a, I think it was a director, a director I didn't know, um, had reached out to me to possibly music direct a show for them. And because they got my name from somebody. And it, we, we had texted back and forth a few times and we finally set a time that I could uh, talk with them on the phone. 
And so we're about 25 minutes into the conversation and he says something like, uh, this is going to be so not what he said, but it's so like, (laughs) you're really cool and easy to talk to and like, blah, 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 something along those lines. And I was like, Mm -hmm. thank you. That thanks. (laughs) That's an interesting thing to say is kind of what I said. Right. He's like, well, I just, from your email, you had me like all stressed out and everything. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I thought it was really nice in my emails. (laughs) And he's like, no, your tagline a lack of planning on your part doesn't constitute an emergency on mine. I was like, oh, well, let me tell you about that. Because yeah. um, as long as you, and I said the same thing, I'm like, if you're on top of your stuff, no problem. And if you're not on top of your stuff, no problem. But don't try and blame me for something you're not doing. And he's like, yeah. oh, okay. So, but he just I didn't like, understand it. He didn't, he didn't understand. Yeah, he didn't understand. He just thought it was like going to be a jerk and like get it your gave off together. A, it gave off a, a vibe. Right. gave you like a part Which, of your personality that's not really you. Right. So that's why I was like, eh, if it's, ha- it's if it's doing that, I'll just take it off. So that's how that's I funny. I didn't even off. know you took it off. I did. I used to love that reading that every time I got an email from you. I was like, that, yep, that, that's, that tracks. That's Christopher. That is me. It's yeah. it, the, the, the sent the real sentiment is totally me. The vibe that was giving off apparently is not, you. it's not Correct. me. And I think, like I said, in the beginning, it's that difference between we will help. I think, and I actually think we're good at that. I think Mm -hmm. you and I both, and I'm going to toot our own little horns here for a minute. I think you and I, (laughs) a toot toot. Um, I think we're good in those instances. Yeah. Um, Professionally and and even just personally in terms of like, oh, this didn't go quite as planned. So we're going to pivot. Pivot. Um, We're going (laughs) to, we're going to. We should do a whole friends reference montage. (laughs) Right. I'd have to bring Jerry on for that. Oh, um, Karen Reimer would come on for that too. Right? We spent all of our all of our drives up to SGV doing doing friends doing okay. friends quotes. So maybe that's her episode. Yeah, that's her episode. Um, but I, th- I think we are both really good at being flexible and thinking in the moment and solving problems. Um, I've mm-hmm. had that feedback a lot uh, with people that we've worked with that yeah. I've worked with because for me. I don't need like, why do we need to make a big deal out of something that's really not a big deal? At the end of the day, it's not that deep. Um, but Turn it's down that, the temperature. It, exactly. Lower the temperature. It's just that last part of then being put in the seat of blame because yeah. someone else didn't do their job. Right. Yeah. We get a lot, we got a lot with students um when we taught together. Mm-hmm. Uh I, actually I'm gonna gen, I'm gonna do it like a generic, generic student one of where you and or an accompanist gets blamed. Okay. And this oh, is my favorite. Yes. And this is just with eyes. <gasps> there's no, there's no like you did this, but I can't tell you how many times I've sat behind a creative team table through auditions <laughs> and a, a student and or adult, I've seen yeah. it happen with both. Same. Get up and they do their, they walk over to you or whatever accompanist, they do their thing. Um, and then they get up and they start singing. And then halfway through their number, they, they've messed up. Mm-hmm. They've messed up their audition. And they look over and they give the accompanist like the side eye, the evil right. side eye. Like, 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 why are you, why are you messing up my audition? And I know in speaking with you and in many other accompanists, they're like, well, that's the tempo you gave me, friend. If you come <laughs> over here and you snap in my ear a tempo that's like right. this for whatever is- song you're doing. That's the tempo I'm going to play. So don't start running off to the races with another song. That's right. You know, it's 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 that thing. Like you didn't plan it correctly. You didn't discuss with your accompanist correctly. Um, yeah. And the snapping in the face, oh. you know, like the, I, I snapped my tempo at you. It's like, well, clearly that's why it didn't go well. <laughs> right. I also say don't blame lo- the accompanist. Don't Two blame the accompanist. Never blame the accompanist, even if it's their fault. Correct. Because there's many times I've also been behind the table and I'm like, what is happening at the piano? And I'm the worst. Just keep behind going. The table just keep going. Because I judge a company as harshly because I'm like, I know what that job is. So I'm like, well, get it together. I'm gonna interject though. <laughs> There are not many audition accompanists that are good. And, and no offense to any audition accompanists out there, but I think I do not play piano. I take that back. I can play you vocal can play. warm-ups. That's right. I can plunk. But I think it's a very I think it's a tricky job only because I've seen so many people not do it well. You are one of the few people. I think I could count. I can count on one hand. I can count on three fingers. The people that I've seen that can be able to do it. Right. 
Yeah. <laughs> so there's three people, you know. Exactly. <laughs> well, the funny thing is there's three people, including myself, that come to mind for myself. So we'll right. compare notes later. Yes. Um, but uh, it is its own. It's absolutely it's its own skill because there's so many things that go into it. So a shout out to all you accompanists out there, but also like I I get irritated when you're terrible and you say you're not. And so that's why I'm like, yeah, you don't want to sit with Christopher at a creative team table when he's not doing the audition accompany. That's not a fun. That's like a squeeze shirt on his leg under the table every two seconds. Well, or pa- because, write, write our little comments yes. in our Google Doc to each other. Yes, because <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting because I do obviously understand what it is, which get, gives me a perspective of um, respect for it, obviously. But also when you're terrible, like, just don't do that. Yeah. And, but And again, it's more of the... Um, people like, yeah, I can do that. Like, you're like how no. many times have we had that happen? Where they're like, oh. I got this. This is like in my wheelhouse. I mean, and it's like several I'm times. Sorry, with us, we no? have had to like ask people to leave, right? Yeah, I mean, we've had those. Yeah, yep. for sure. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get us back on track because I okay. was the one that, that took us down that rabbit hole um, with audition accompanists. Clearly, another episode, <laughs> but the lack of planning. Yes. I know. I know. We've talked about students. We would get a lot of students. Um, one of my favorite was. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't have a chance to print my, my sheet music. So, you know, I don't, I can't go today. That's a big one for me. Those like small little, and that's not my problem. You're going to, mm-hmm. you don't, don't get upset with me. Don't, you know, you, you didn't bring your music for whatever it may be. You are going to have that grade, right? You, this was your day to do it. Um, or the kids who don't know their lyrics, you know? They get up and there's like, it's a good and you're like, no, 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 no. Lack of planning. I don't know if the kids necessarily would blame us in those instances. I just no, think it made true. it. That's you know. true. But I have had students like get upset when I'm like, no, I'm not printing your sheet music. Yeah. And then it's like, how dare you not print my sheet music? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, your sense of entitlement is uncanny. Yes. <laughs> And you know what? I get kids because they know I have a printer in my office mm-hmm. that they'll come in. And I'm like, it is literally five minutes till class, friend. Yeah. Like five minutes Plan- till class. A lack of planning on your part does not constitute an emergency in mine. Please yes. and thank you. Correct. And then the other one that I see a lot um, with students is also their like um, dance attire. That one gets me. Mm. Oh, no, I can't. These jeans are stretchy. These are stretchy jeans. Okay, no. I'm like, I don't care if they're the stretchiest jeans on the planet. The rule is no jeans in this dance uh, class. So you need to go and change, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm fine in these. And I'm like, no, you just forgot your clothes at home, my friend. I'm not. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> we were really? born 30, 10 years ago. Thank you. <laughs> um, How about professionally, though? What are like? Well, I can't think off the gosh. top of my head any stories. Well, I mean, still, I... <sighs> I guess it's not technically professionally. I'll come back. I'll think about more professionally things. But I had this audition when I was at Point Loma. And I was playing for some incoming, um, I cannot remember what it was. It was some sort of instrumentalist. I can't remember whether she was saxophone or trombone. If you think that I would be able to tell the difference between those two. I promise I can. Um, I just don't remember what it was. And she came in. She was very nice. She came to the piano, gave me her tempo. Um, kind, I mean, she wasn't the greatest at it. She, she did the whole little snappy thing. Don't snap. Mm-hmm. P.S. If Don't all snap. you students and auditioners listening, do not snap your tempo at an accompanist. It's annoying. What would you prefer, Christopher? Let's help some people out. Yes, let's. So I personally prefer, I don't mind um, even a self-tap. Like you just got to figure out for yourself. But the most helpful is for you to just sing a little bit of it. And At if you have the a temp- tempo you want. That's the part that so many kids don't yes, do. Like, true. for instance, I'm going to sing true. Don't Rain on My Parade. Hi, Christopher Smith. Thank you so much for being my accompanist. So it's kind of like, don't tell me not to live to sing. Right. It's that song. You know that song? Right. Life yeah. candy and a sun. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. We're going to start. And then... You play it at that fast tempo and the kid's and like, like huh? oh, it was too fast. And you're like, well, that's how fast you sang it, queen. Like, right. you have to sing it the way you're going to sing it. That's uh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Go back to your trombone, no, yes, trumpeter, so, saxophonist. That's right. I don't know. Instrumentalist uh, du jour. So <laughs> uh, 
she gets up there. She starts. We get probably four bars in, maybe eight. She stops playing. So imagine I'm like sitting at the keyboard. Piano's directly in front of me. It's a grand piano. She's standing in the nook of the piano. I look like I have like super crazy arms. Um, (laughs) But (laughs) she's standing in the nook of the piano (laughs) facing that way. Okay. I'm just trying to set the scene here. She stops playing, turns to me like with the slow attitude turn, like, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, And full side eyes me, takes the long, it seemed like 20 years to pick up her arm like this and start snapping the tempo at me. Like with that. Yes, like gives me the tempo, which P.S. was about the same tempo. Um, so I kind of just laughed. I was like both in <laughs> shock and trying not to laugh all at the same time. Like, what is happening? Like she right was now? giving like, you. Is this my life right now? Um, but but full on gave it to me again, and then followed it up with, "That's the tempo I gave you. Can we try it again?" I was like. So I made very clear, I was like, we can absolutely try that tempo, which is the same tempo you gave me in the first place. Thank you. <laughs> I also feel like it's like, you know, like when you go to a restaurant, don't piss your server off, right? Like just right. Don't, don't piss them off because it's the same thing. Don't piss off the accompanist because oh. they it, don't piss off the audio guy. Nope. Don't piss off anybody that needs, like you need them to support you. You need right. them for something. That's right. There's just an easier way to go about it and be able to be like, Hey, I'm so sorry. This something's wonky with it. Could we just start yeah. over? Or like, there's so many ways to do it. It's not my fault. Quit snapping at me. <laughs> also, you oh just gave me your music, which was not well-prepared PS. Yeah. That's another thing. Just, I have, we, need a, whole, I have a, um, we have to do a whole episode on just auditions on like how to I like, prepare like for that, auditions. Though, we, also stories. And we need like props for that because my favorite is when someone comes with like the sheet music that's in like pages and then you're like, yes, it's falling or the kid that has it in like a, a, a book, not a binder. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like a the music book, book yeah. an anthology that yeah. they've gotten from, you know, Googling what Which song is should all I sing. grand. If you like go to Kinko's, sorry, FedEx office. Cause Kinko's is dead. But um, Kinko's died. Uh, and copy it. And well, not and even it- either copy it or bind the book. I always used to go and get big books like that, just bound yeah. and spiral down. Oh, but, Cause I'm like, but they don't know. Kids uh, don't know. They have no but idea. here's the thing, but I don't, I, I get it. But also like, if the book can't stay open, can you please like make it stay That's open? It. Like yeah. the, at, yeah, what this point, is, at what point, at what point we got to like, walk through this on another episode though. We got to, yeah. we got to, I got some bullet points for we'll auditions. Do, we'll do like a, a, we'll call it just like a bonus episode or something. It won't be a regular episode. It'll just be a, a one-off uh, how to audition i think too so going back to like a, an emerge uh a lack of planning yeah uh we we've been doing um i'll just say auditions but yeah. and there are very clear guidelines for these students to come in very clear they are on websites they are printed they're very very clear right of what they need to prepare and i can't tell you how many times and you know I blame the parents too. Cause some of these kids are little, some of them are younger, 11, mm-hmm. 12, you know? Oh, totally. And it says on there exactly what they need to bring. You need to have a minute of a song memorized. You need to have a backing track. We will not have an accompanist. You cannot sing a cappella. It needs to be on your phone or a device, uh, uh, an iPad. And it says very in bold letters, no USB. Do not bring a flash drive. Do not bring a thumb drive. It's it lists it out. I can't tell you how many times I get kids in there and they're like, oh, my song's on a flash drive. And I don't, again, at that level and age, I have a feeling it's more of the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just like, people, it's there. It's listed. Like, I just think it's people's lack of planning. Yes. And also just like, idiocy they don't read or they're not paying attention like perhaps a lack of common sense <laughs> perhaps because i mean I here mean, we talk about the thing that is not common of sense because we have <sighs> common sense which clearly is no longer common and I, and i think that that is exactly it it's like 
I wonder how these people get like through that. Like, how do they do their job? How do you do your life? That's my question. Like, how do you know? But like, literally, I look I at some of, and I've thought this almost every year. Um, I look at like juniors and seniors and I'm like, um, I'm a little, con- little, con- it's a varying range from like, not concerned, which is like a small handful, a little We've concerned. We've got some awesome ones. Yeah. Yes. A little concerned, which is like probably the majority. And then I have the ones that's the ha- the small handful that I'm like, I'm genuinely concerned for your life. Like, correct. What, yeah. how are you going to function outside of here? Yeah. And, and it's, and it's this, this, the common sense part of it. I mean, I know it's not just because we're, we're titled that, but like how, how that piece is missing. Yeah. Right. Like as a human, as a teenager, as an adult, it doesn't matter, especially at a junior senior level. Yeah. There are so many ways in this day and age that you can get information and figure things out on your own. And they do not have the common oh, sense. We're going to get to do oh. it. So that which goes into me. this lack of planning, though. Right. So yes. it's like they expect somebody to come in and do it. And but here's like, the thing. We do pretty much come in and do it. I put it on Google Classroom. I sent you an email. I put it on Aries. Like, aside from a courier nine... pigeon to your house, a la Hogwarts, it's not right. happening, friends. I'm like, I gave you like nine thousand ways to get this information that remind you for me, and I remind you, and you still show up going, I didn't know I was going today. Well, I can't help you. Zero. I like, I like when they come in my office and they're like, do I have rehearsal today? And I'm okay. like, I, I, what I want to say is I'm not your mom and I'm not your babysitter. So go figure it out. Right. Have some common sense. But I don't say that. I'm like, have you checked the rehearsal schedule? That is literally in 19 different places. Like I, I don't, I am not your personal assistant. Yeah. Go and look. Like, and it's kind of like you're one of 25,000 people in this cast. I can't keep your schedule straight for you. I know. It's a lot. And that is the lack of planning. And now I will say, I'm going to I'm going to flip it. Flip I have script. some students who are just the lights in the in the dark because they are are so yes. on top of it. And they are so great and they're conscientious about it and they have that common sense there and they are helping and you know, they're the ones posting, "Oh, it's in here. I'll help you out or whatnot." But Yeah. Yeah. Those are the ones that have their music ready. Those are the ones that have yeah. dance shoes. They don't have USB drives. And They've the got... days that they come in unprepared, I'm like, okay, you get a pass. Yeah. Because there and must yes. be an actual reason, not just and that's your okay, Yahoo right? number five. Yeah. Not hooligan number 32. Not Yahoo number five. It's our right. regular kid who's just probably had a bad day. And, yeah. and they are freaking out because, yes. Mrs. Lopez, I didn't bring my tap shoes today. Can it's we okay. just talk about that? That was me as like a human. Like I was the person that would like super stress if I like yep. didn't have what I needed to have, which is ironic because I left things everywhere. Literally. Like really? as I went through you my still day do. That's school, why you have all your I key know. tags. You're so right. <laughs> That's um, Sebastian though. You know how we always talk about how you and Sebastian are similar? Yeah. He's that way. If he doesn't have his stuff or if he forgot something, he feels yeah. like bad. Like, oh no, I didn't bring my whatever it might be. And it's like, okay, you normally have it every other day of the year. Your teacher's yeah. going to be okay with yeah. you. you but know. I'm the person that I'm like, I don't want, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I want to be prepared. I know. I know. But I'm also the person that flies by the seat of my pants now. But I think that's partially why I can do that is because sometimes yeah. I'm like, well, I don't have it. So I got to figure it out. <laughs> well, and I think both of us have kind of gone on that journey. And I think mm-hmm. where we are in life, I'm the same way. Like I have people that are like, how do you not have to plan for that, whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. A meeting, a rehearsal, a whatnot. Right. And I'm like, because I've done it so many times. Yeah. Like I can't. And this kind of circles back to what we were talking about in the beginning of how like you and I are just kind of flexible. Yeah. And and we go with the flow and we have enough knowledge of what we're doing um that we we are prepared, you know, right. and, and we can we make spent it all those years preparing to not prepare. It's kind of like I know this is a super tangent, but people are like, um uh what was it? that I was thinking about the other day, like these people, oh, it was because of rates for like accompaniment and like, uh, like money, Mm -hmm. like how much it costs to do things. And I'm like, you're, you are paying people for their time, but it's, you're more paying for their experience and their, their expertise. You're not paying for the hour that you're with them. You're paying for the 35 years of time that they have spent learning to do what they do for you for that hour of time for you. 
Did you explain that to someone? It That's did. a really great way to put it. Because it I think too, on that note, I have a lot of younger there, yeah. um, people who are newer into this industry that are mm-hmm. now doing private lessons or, you know, coachings. And they're like, how much should I charge? Well, what they should charge is not the same right. as what you or me or somebody with more experience than us. Mm-hmm. It is exactly that. It's not an hourly rate. It depends on what you're getting, right? Yeah. 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 And I that's totally hard that. to hard to get people to understand in this. So note to anyone who's listening. Um, it's hard to not compare prices. Like I can get piano lessons for $20 an hour over here. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Great. So I guess you can go do that, but that's what you're gonna get is $20 worth of piano lessons. With me, yeah. you're gonna get $80 worth of piano lessons. Yeah. Because in my 30, 10 years, I have been doing piano for, I mean, I've been playing piano for 38 of them, 37 That's so of crazy. them. That's so crazy. So, um, so, and I, again, I don't actually begrudge people that either. They're like, I just don't have the money. I'm like, that's totally fine. Yep. That is not a problem at all. And but I don't I'm be like, going how to dare charge you what go? I'm worth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, exactly. I mean, and I think it's important to know, to know your value. And I, yeah, I think that is hard for people to understand, especially parents who want what's best for their kid and they want to give their kid the best experience, but at the same time, know nothing about this industry. Right. They're like, no, no, sorry. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, there is a, ter- I mean, there's, there's a reason that there's a saying you get what you pay for. Yeah. And sometimes that's not accurate. Sometimes you get great deals and other times you get lemons, <laughs> but <laughs> truth. Um, truth. But as a whole, I think that stands. But again, circling back to planning, uh, Sharna, I think you had mentioned about like kids and planning. Like, Oh, yeah. Like, well, and we just talked about Sebastian. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think, and we'll take off like teacher hats for a minute and I'll put on parent hat. Mm-hmm. Um, Jerry and I, I think we are pretty on the same page when it comes to this because, you know, it's that old saying, like if if you just, well, not old saying, it's very real now. If you just do it for them all the time, if you just always step in and fix it, that's what yeah. they're going to think. Oh, well, my mom will do it or my dad will do it. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not a crazy mean parent. I, you know, it, Sebastian left his lunch. I don't know, probably in third grade. And, you know, I went and got it and took it, but I told him it is your responsibility to get your lunch in your backpack in the morning. So this is your pass. The next time you leave it, you're just not going to have lunch because yeah. I can't always be there. And it, and I and I tried to follow it up with and that's okay. Sometimes we forget things, sometimes we make mistakes, but you need to understand when something's your responsibility. And a big one that Jerry does with Sebastian is his um sports equipment. Mm. So like when he leaves in the morning, Sebastian has to have all of his stuff packed or whatever he needs to have Jerry take. So he has it, you know, if you don't have your glove or you don't have the right deal, like, I think early on, it's important for them to learn that they're not going to always have somebody there shoveling their stuff in their, into the car. Or, I mean, I can't tell you how many times parents go and drop things off at the school, you know, Sebastian's like, Mm -hmm. oh, so-and-so forgot this and their parent brought it. And it's like constant, you know, and kind of reiterating what we said earlier with our good kids are ones that do have their common sense. We give them a free pass on those days that they've forgotten their tap shoes or, you know, I'll take Sebastian's iPad the one time he forgot it. And I thought Mm -hmm. he was going to lose his mind in the car, you know, because sometimes you have those days, Yeah. but I think it's important. And, and again, at a young age, parents who can instill that in their kids and look, I know that all kids are different. I have four, Mm -hmm. all of which (laughs) who do not act the same way. So some kids need a lot more assistance in instilling that and making it a habit. But I think as parents, if we can do that earlier on, Mm -hmm. then when they get to the age that we teach them in high school, they have that, right? Yeah. I'm not relying on my mom to make sure that my blue binder is in my folder, right? Like, or my sheet music's here, my dance, you know, you do it, you take care of it. Yeah. So yeah. Well, and a lot, just like all, you know, all kids are different. All parents are different. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it's can be tricky navigating that too. Cause I definitely lean more towards the, I just want to help you because it's partially my personality. And it's also just Mm -hmm. like, Oh, you're just so cute. I just want to like do it for you. But then like (laughs) also it creates a whole nother set of problems. 
you know, mm-hmm. that I already see from little instances. I'm like, oh, I got to not do that. Yeah. Um, and, and I think as they grow too, though, Christopher, like there's changes, you yeah, know, I absolutely. think with Ruby, I'm a little more like, because she's a baby, I hold on to things a little bit longer than mm-hmm. I did with Sebastian, you know, like helping her do certain things where I'm like, oh, she could do that by herself. So I got to start. But I, but I also think it's such a great thing to see them take ownership in what, mm-hmm. like in that responsibility, it makes them feel, even if they complain about it at first, or even if they're, yeah. you know, I don't want to do this or I need your help. You know, it's like, okay, I will gladly step in and help you when you actually, actually need, help need help and not, you, you just want me to do it for you. Correct. I'm like, not you standing there going, I don't, I can't pick up the toy. I'm like, you're standing right yeah. there. You can pick up the yeah. toy. It's totally. only five ounces. <laughs> and I think as parents, it's a, uh, it's a long, it's a marathon, right? Yeah. It's not something like we can instill right away. It's not something I mean, you do fashion. once and done. <laughs> no. And that's the hard part, right? Yeah. I mean, I, we live in a two-story house and I n- never want to ever have a two-story house ever again. The the stair situation at my house of like things that live on the stairs that oh. will maybe someday get up to the room. And, and it's daily. Take that up to your room. Take that up to your room. You know, it, they just, it's a reminder and it's like, I could just do it, but it's not right. my job. It's their stuff. You know, and so let's let me get this straight. So we have the horror movie where people live under the stairs, and then at Sharna's house, we have the horror movie where people leave things on on the the stairs. stairs. Well, and I do it too. I'm not going to be in here like I'm so great because I don't look. I'll take that up the next time I go upstairs. But I actually do it. (laughs) It's got to go the next time you go upstairs. You know, when my my sweet arugula has nine pairs of shoes like gracing every stair all the way up. (laughs) It's like, yeah, queen, those <laughs> needed to go upstairs last week. Right. Cause there's nine pairs of shoes and yeah. even at changing shoes three times a day, that's still three days worth. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Quick math. Quick math. So, yeah, here. I think it's, I think it's, there's hope. I mean, it does, it makes our job funny. I know, but also frustrating. And I, I think that um, it's still a good tagline for you. Yeah. I mean, it is. I know you took it off your email, but Maybe I feel like, I feel we'll like see. it needs to be in a classroom. Yeah, that's what you should do is print it true. out and put it in your classroom. That's true. Maybe I will. I like it. I'll put it on the top of my Google classroom. That'll be the thing on the feed. Wait, that's awesome. Well, if kids go on there and read. Yeah, we know they don't, um, <laughs> but it's fine. Cause I can't tell you how many times in the last two weeks it's like, when's our next test? I'm like, dude, it has been on the syllabus since day one. I'm not keeping track of it. You figure it out. Now I will, I'm going to throw some, I know we're almost out of time and we're going to, we're going to close up, but I'm going to throw one more thing out that I actually talked to my 10th graders about last week. They are so inundated with Google classroom notifications and different, it's, it's almost like that. it's, um, it's the antithesis of the organization. Yeah. Yes. So I told them, I'm like, okay, my smarty pants, 16 year olds, one of you needs to figure out or create then like you get in college and you create some sort of system or something and become famous and a millionaire of how to rectify and remedy the problem. Because I do, I agree with it. Yeah. Like if I'm giving them all this, you know, they've got Google classroom for all of their academic classes, conservatories for shows, for yeah. outside things. It's a, it is a lot. It's a lot of information um, to, to take in, but at, at the same you know point, you've still got to do it. But mm-hmm. I hope one of them creates something amazing that like fixes that organization. I think it'd be good. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. We're out of time. I think we're, we're out of time. Closing time. Ooh. That's not from a musical. No. Dang it. What's a closing musical? Mm, no, it's not coming to me. Yeah, me neither. That's just a good song. Sorry about it. Like All right. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Sharna for official. That's us. Um, uh, uncommonpod.com yep everything's gonna be on the uncommonpod.com 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 <laughs> all righty y'all uh we'll catch you next time thanks for joining bye, us friends bye This concludes another episode of Uncommon Sense. If you're ready for more of this fresh, hilarious, and unique perspective on the world of entertainment, education, and life, be sure to subscribe right now to catch every episode. If you gasped, laughed out loud, or even snorted, share the show with your friends and aspiring entertainers, because let's be real, sharing is caring. 
For more Sharnifer, tune in to their witty insights by checking out the website uncommonpod.com or connecting on social media. Tune in next week and get the real insider scoop on another episode of Uncommon Sense.